guys, Mikhail here, back with another Gotta Live 2 video. And in today's video, we'll be trying out a glitch that I found on YouTube, which is called the Peekaboo Glitch. I found it while I was scrolling on YouTube. It is by Suki, and we'll be testing out the glitch if it actually works. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna work? But before I begin the video, comment down below on what you think of this video to get a chance to be featured on my next video. I will be putting the featured comments in the end. And if some of you guys commented on my last video, keep watching until the end to see if you got into the featured comments in this video. Anyways, without further ado, let's start the video! Alright, let's enter Gacha Live 2 and make the peekaboo character. I've watched their video and that's what the tutorial says, so let's begin making the peekaboo character. Alright, so first things first, we have to make everything black. After we color everything black, we need to add in his claws and color them red. You guys think this is gonna work? And then the eyes. Alright, we're done making peekaboo. And now our next step is to go inside Gacha Simulator. And just keep pulling for characters until you reach 660. And now once you've gotten 660, just exit Gacha Simulator and... Um, what? That wasn't supposed to happen. 666? That's weird. Well, anyways, as I was saying earlier, let's go back to home. Um, was the character like this when I left it? I swear it had its hands down. Let me check my photo gallery real quick. Yeah, the hands was down. That's pretty weird. Let's go back to Gacha Life 2. Um, what just happened? What? This is not how the glitch went inside her tutorial. What is happening? Why are my character slots doing that? My characters, they're gone! It's just nothing, it's empty. Even my backup slots, they're all empty. Every single one of them. Wait, then what about the presets? It's also empty? Where did all the characters go? Are you serious? Even life mode? They've all just disappeared. The only thing left are their shadows. Even the backgrounds are black. Studio mode seems fine. Huh? What's happening? Okay, this is weird. I'm gonna close the app now. And once you do... You'll all be gone, right? I it's not gone! Um, hello? I'm tapping my screen right now and nothing's happening. I can't exit the app. Why is the screen just black? Huh? It's... What is it doing? It's dancing? Um, it's getting closer. Hey guys, so how was it? Did you all enjoy the skit? I thought of making one again because in my last one, I enjoyed it a lot. But yeah, by the way guys, this is not real, so... If you did get scared, well, don't be scared, it's not real. Anyways, I heard that Looney confirmed Gotcha Life 3. Yes, Gotcha Life 3 was confirmed by Looney on Discord. He said that after Wonder End, he will be doing Gacha Life 3. And some of you guys may also be wondering, what will Gacha Life 3 have? Well, Looney said everything Gacha Life 2 doesn't have. And that does sound pretty crazy considering the fact that we have almost everything we've wished for inside Gacha Life 2 already. Gacha Life 3 already sounds so exciting. And we're also calling it Gacha Life 3 since Looney doesn't have an official name for it yet. And Looney also said that Gacha Life 2 will be the character maker and Gacha Life 3 will be another game to import characters to do something special. 
What do you guys think that special will be? Will we be able to import our characters to play games in Psychotic Life 3 or something else? Oh, and if some of you guys may be wondering if Gacha Life 2 will still be updating once Gacha Life 3 is out, the answer is yes, Looney will still be updating Gacha Life 2 with monthly asset updates. So we'll still be getting new shirts, new sleeves, and more every time Gacha Life 2 updates. And you guys must be also wondering when is Gacha Life 3 coming? Gacha Life 3 could possibly come out in 2025. So don't get too excited yet, guys. Looney is still doing Wonder End, so let's be patient. Now I'll be showing you guys another upcoming feature in Gacha Life 2, which is called the Life Mode. Life Mode? Hmm, what does Life Mode do? Does it bring your characters to life? Or make your characters look realistic? Or maybe you can interact with people online? Or we can maybe, actually maybe... No guys, it's none of those. Well, one was pretty close, but it's not really an online interaction. So, if you go to the main screen in Gacha Life 2, you'll see down here the life mode. Yep, right beside the gacha. Click on it and... And you'll see right here a bunch of your OZs are inside life mode. But why are they here? Well, let me explain. So the characters appearing right inside life mode are the characters inside your character slots. And only 8 characters can fit inside the character slots. And those characters in life mode right now, other people will be able to see these online. Like your friends or strangers. Uh, other people? But how will they be able to see my OCs? Well, if you look at the bottom right here, you'll see these buttons called friends and random. And that's basically how they'll be able to see your OCs. In life mode, you'll be able to visit friends or your own friends could visit you. Or maybe you can also visit a random and random people will be able to visit you too. And they'll also be able to select your OCs and put it into their own slots. But I'm sure that some of you may not want other people to take your OCs, right? And some of you may be wondering if there's a button to disable that. Well, I'm not sure yet if there's a button for that, but right beside your home, you can see this update data button. It says right here at the top, your 8 characters will be available for anyone with your friend ID to view and copy. And right underneath your player account name, you'll see friend ID, which you'll be able to copy once the update is out. And underneath the update button, it says here you can only update once per game session. So, I'm not sure if there's a button yet, but if you don't want people to be able to copy your characters, you can either just keep updating your data in Gacha Life 2, or you can switch your OCs into the extra character slots. Since the only characters they'll be seeing are your main character slots, and not your extra character backup slots. And that is Life Mode, where you'll be able to visit random people or your friends, to see their OCs, and where also other people will be able to visit you, see your OCs, and copy it into their character slots. And that is the conclusion of Life Mode. By the way, if you guys ever want to send me fan art, just follow me on Instagram at MikaelaYTPlays and use the hashtag MikaelaYTFanArt. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I post a Gacha Life 2 update. Thank you all for watching! Now let's go on to the featured comments!
Thanks for all the kind comments. I love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>